Phil Mazuka. Yeah, his superpower is to never ever stop talking. I'm gonna go with Josh Jubenville because um, I feel like he's the most uh, superhero-like. He's fast, he's super strong. Let's go with our, our new team teammate, Mark Matthews, who is a former teammate of mine for a long time. Mark uh, has the ability to disarm anyone uh, with his charisma and charm. He's, uh, he's funny, like he just uh, doesn't matter the social situation, he can approach anyone and they're immediately put at ease, they love the guy. He's, he's impossible not to, to love and just want to be around. So uh, that's a trait of his I've always admired. And uh, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's his superhero power. Some guys, the way they play, you wonder if they got some powers out there. But I guess maybe I'd give Challen flying because he's already faster than most guys. So if he could just fly over top of everybody, get to the other end for a breakaway, then I think uh, he'd bury a lot more, so. He's already the best transition player in the league, so I think that uh, that would make him even better. I'd probably go with Brandon Slade, the power of strength, given his tiny little body, but uh, he's a fiery, fiery guy, so I'd give him unlimited strength. He'd love that. I mean, Brad blocks a lot of shots, so maybe him having like that force field. Blocks a lot of shots, so like, the ball doesn't get past him very often, so if he was like standing in front of the net, he'd be like a force field shield. I'm gonna go with Brandon Slade. Um, his superpower would be to just constantly be talking at all times and just never be able to stop. Um, I think he probably already has it. I'd go with Brad Cree, um, super strength. Um, he's a tank, uh, he's, he's a total beast, so I think he's already well on his way, but I'd add a little more strength to Brad, and I think it'd be pretty fitting, you know, for, for who he is and how he plays on the floor.